mentally I was somewhere completely different. I think when I, when I make albums generally, I'm just very focused on um, making a body of work and making a cohesive piece of work. Yeah. That's all my intention. Um, sometimes I'm pulling from you know different places as far as the writing or subject mm -hmm. But um, the thing that is very different about Love Absolute uh, compared to VG Sixes. I wrote 75% of Love Absolute at the piano, right. just by myself, and recording uh, into my voice memo on my phone, you know, like I used to okay. do my dictaphone when I was a teenager. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go back to the genesis of, of, of how I began writing songs. That okay. was important for me to do because I have honestly never done it. On, it, on any of my six albums and, and there may be a song like you know beautiful i wrote that way There's, there are certain songs that were written that way right. i've never um intentionally did all of the ballads and the tempos that way and i think that it gives love absolute a certain magic honestly there's yeah. magic there. yeah. yeah there's okay. magic at the piano exactly. <laughs> yeah. be the first album of new releases we listen to oh my god <laughs> <laughs> How do you answer something like that? <laughs> that is so unfair. It's so it, unfair. it is diverse. Hey, it is honest. It is vulnerable. Um, it is. Um, it, it it encompasses the love of so many different things, whether it's my personal life, um, whether it's my people, whether it's self love. Like I just feel like I touch on a lot of different. Uh, things related to love, which is why I call Love Absolute. Um, my maze composition on Love Absolute are just, you know, beautiful, just amazing. He did such a fantastic job. And um, I cover one of my very favorite songs and I've always wanted to cover for years now, Harlem Blues from Mobile yeah. Blues. Uh, I don't think anyone has covered it before, uh, before now. So um, I used to sing it like in talent shows growing up and stuff like okay. that. Okay, you know, nice. I've always wanted to do it, so I'm really excited about it because I really love that track on the album, and it just gives the album this, this amazing balance of diversity. Yeah, and, like full circle. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, because it's one of my very favorite genres, um, one of the first genres that I um, that I grew up singing as well. So, and, and it features the amazing saxophonist Mike Phillips, mm -hmm. who's an incredible musician, and it's just a really wonderful uh, track. So I'm just excited about it. I, I think when uh, Pam and I make albums together, that there's 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 a certain cohesion there because it's not like, you know, there's nothing wrong with albums made by different producers. Mm -hmm. After my albums are made that way, but there is something about when an album is mainly one. It person is because yeah. it's certain, you know, cohesiveness that that's there. Um, Definitely. That isn't always there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Pam mm -hmm. and I, we just get better. The more we work together, we. Mm -hmm. Better, so add it. So yeah, this is definitely the best album that we've done. We, we 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 have two totally different like perspectives and point points of views for um, how to create uh, and 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 what should be the inspiration for creating like forms mm -hmm. about uh, forms about feeling and emotion and how a record makes you feel. Right. I'm, I'm about how perfect is the record and can it be any more perfect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it often has us at odds, honestly. Makes and, sense. Um, there's a lot of um, disagreements, you know, a lot of fighting, uh, you know, not like anything crazy, but right, right, right. We have tension on some, some days, you know, mm -hmm. tedious process for sure. But in the end, it's always great. So I think we continue to do it because it keeps working. Yeah, like we, we were just trying to figure like what the song was going to be. Cause we don't have an official single, you know, right. to until next year. Okay. We didn't know if we decided to go to radio. And so we, we wanted to see which song of the three instant grad tracks would um, get um, mm. playlist mm -hmm. to gravitate to them, kind of let the playlist kind of, uh, um, choose the single, mm -hmm. but there's a wonderful problem to have. All three songs have made multiple plays. <laughs> yep. They're doing good, I'm telling you. No, so it didn't help, so we still don't know which one. <laughs> my biggest influence, my biggest musical influence would be my parents. Mm -hmm. And they love 
music. They, they love it and they played it and they introduced me to so many different genres of music. And um, <laughs> my mother loved musical theater. So, right. you know, we loved Broadway shows and you know, we'd go see shows and if they turn into movies, we'd watch the movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this canvas is behind me. It's like life size. Mm -hmm. um, I very love it. part of my life and upbringing. My parents love Motown, which mm -hmm. is Detroit. Definitely. Right. <laughs> I probably knew the whole Motown catalog before I was 10. I'm not even like, okay. That's what was so. So I feel like wherever I grew up, um, as long as they were my parents, that I probably would have had the same music influences because it really okay. didn't have much to do with the city, but with what, what my parents introduced yeah. me to. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I know when we spoke before, but um, you said the hardest part about finishing the album was narrowing down the songs for the final track listing. Did you have that problem this time? Mm -hmm. That's always hard. Yeah. Did you? Okay. Yeah. It's always, we <laughs> always record more, you know? Oh, yeah. Always, always record more. And then you have to, the, sometimes like the narrowing down is just a matter of, you know, is it cohesive? Does it make sense with the rest of the song? It could be like the most incredible song. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, doesn't fit. Yeah. You know, if it doesn't fit, then, then you know, got to kind of scratch it off. And that's, it's always very, very difficult. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this was, you know, was, was difficult just the same. But I think we, we, I, I think we were both okay with it because the this album is just you can really listen to it from from top to bottom and mm -hmm. I and I could be now one thing about me when I'm done with an album I usually mm -hmm. don't listen to it anymore it's like what? I listened to it a few times when I was making it I listened to it every night after the studio and you're done with it the song until it was perfected and then I'm done <laughs> I, I literally listen to it every night nice I'm going to sleep like I love it that much I don't wow okay so yeah, yeah That's so that really being good. said I you know it was just another song on the album I didn't know what it was <laughs> you didn't know the impact it would have I, I, I really didn't I really didn't it's like <laughs> It's fine. The song is fine. I don't mind singing it now, you know, mm -hmm. but um, it's definitely not like my favorite song, you know, Okay. Fine. like at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember that. I sing it at every show. So no one, you know, don't, don't fear. <laughs> About the best part of being a mom. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think now that that now that my son is sixteen, I think uh, just watching watching their personalities develop, you know, because it's like it, it it's it's so different, you know. Mm, I bet. Yeah, three, <laughs> yeah, my baby at nine, my baby at twelve, my mm -hmm. baby at sixteen. It's like different people. <laughs> <laughs> I and it's imagine. kind of fascinating, you know, and of course there are things that are consistent with all the stages. Things. Right. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's really amazing, you know, to, to watch and see like a full personality, you know, blossom over years. And, you know, it, it, it's, I, I think that's, that's dope to me because it's, it's mm -hmm. just fascinating to watch, you know, and I'm around my son probably more than most moms are around their kids. So okay. With me all of the time. He doesn't go away. <laughs> After work, like, we're always together. And I've homeschooled him since kindergarten. So, like, I am, you know, very much a part of his life, like, constantly. And mm -hmm. so I've, I've had the privilege of really seeing him go through, through these stages. And it's, 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 it's really amazing to see him blossom into... A, a, a good person has a great yeah. heart, you know, but who's very sarcastic. Very <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Very... <laughs> you, know, you can that. have that sarcasm at three, you know, so it's very Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got really? to see it develop, you know. Yeah. Well, for me, I, it, it actually ended up being a productive time for mm -hmm. me because we started Love Absolute in 2019. And when 2020 came, you know, it was time to really wrap it up, you know? Yeah. And way behind schedule. Like okay. way behind. And the pandemic 
um, gave us opportunity to complete it with no distractions. There you go. Yeah. Being beneficial. Mm -hmm. album. But, you know, but that said, of course, my heart goes out to anyone who's been affected. Right, right. You know, like, make light of the pandemic, because that's not what I mean. But, um, yeah, so I was able to finish that episode. So it was actually, that was great. Um, what do I want to see? I don't want to see a vaccine mandate. That'll like really piss me off. So, you know, I'm hoping mm -hmm. that's down the road because, um, yeah, I don't believe in someone forcing me to get right. Exactly. Get. Like I don't like that. So I hope yeah. that's not what the administration does. Because you know, I like, agree. I voted for them, and I'll be super pissed if they did something like that. <laughs> I agree, definitely. I'm happy you said that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, I want to see it. You know, I want to see the pandemic go away. Obviously. Exactly. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got you. Trust me. I feel you on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you good? <laughs> Before we get out of here, I want to play the lyric game with you real quick. That's okay. always fun. Are these my so, lyrics? Yep, I was getting ready to say. So it's your lyrics. I'm okay. Three songs, but you only get one guess. So, all right. Okay. Let me know. You ready? All right. The first one is, if we could put it all behind, oh, I don't want to get my hopes up high. Oh, that's faith. Oh, <laughs> come on. Ding, ding. <laughs> okay. Hey, I start okay. with an easy one. <laughs> that's one of my, my favorites of my, I have like my faves from each album. And then I have my faves of my catalog. Faith mm -hmm. is up there in my faves of my catalog. So yeah, you're not going to get that one by me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you told us that in the interview. That's why I chose that one. Let me see if oh, I can okay, get okay, the other okay, two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The texture complexion looks great against mine. That is one of none. <laughs> you quick too. You quick with it. I wrote, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I like it. I like it. Okay, the last one maybe I can get you. I got you. So, <laughs> you good? You may have to think about this one. Okay. Okay. So, so, but that doesn't stop my hunger. Hunger for his heart. I know that. <laughs> Wait, why did this get me tripped up though? <laughs> How did you know this one was gonna trip me up? You're gonna trip out when you hear you're gonna be like, yes. I know, no, I don't want I don't even want you to, you cannot tell me. Okay, I won't <laughs> get it. Um <laughs> that doesn't stop my hunger, hunger for his heart. How the hell do I not know oh, oh, man, I'm bringing up? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll give you a little hit. No, I'm supposed to know it. Oh my God, I am totally bugging out on me. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> All right, I can say it one more time. I'm a little. That's about my hunger, hunger for his heart. Oh, what the hell? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I can hear, I can hear myself saying this for everything. I just can't place this freaking song. I know can you we come can. back to the corner? Was this the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. Oh, I, can, I, I can, know it. I can go to the next question. We can come back. Okay. So come what's <laughs> so what's next for Vivian Green? I know you got the album. You're going to do videos and stuff. What's next or what do you hope to work on after the pandemic also? Um, I'm really, I'm working on this special project that I'm really excited about, but I can't talk about it because I don't like to talk about things that really mm -hmm. fully materialize. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> we know it's I'm coming. Working, and I'm really excited about it. Okay. We yeah. definitely know it's coming. it's not me starring in a movie or anything like that. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's dope. <laughs> All right. We're going back to the um, lyric. You want me to say it again? Mm -hmm. You still remember the part though. That doesn't stop my hunger, hunger for I know it. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> it's on the first album and it's a question. The song's a question? Mm-hmm. Song so oh Lord. I gotta think of that <laughs> Now now I know why I don't know it. That's my least favorite album, so now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I know when it's not, it's not Ain't Nothing But Love, it's not Affected, it's not um, Keep On Going, it's not 
complete. Yep. It's not... What was the first one you said? Ain't nothing but love? Oh, no. It's not wishful thinking. It's not 24 hour blue. It's not music. Are you sure it's the first album? <laughs> Are you sure it's from a love story? Mm hmm. <laughs> you are sure? Yeah. It's not emotional roller coaster. Yeah. I'm like, I know my songs now, but yeah. It's not, it's not final hour. And it's not no sin by the phone. What in the world? You said the whole track list except the one song that has a question. <laughs> Where is my phone? The focus track listing? There's a song that has a question on that album? <laughs> on the forehead. Ha 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 ha. Oh, what is love? <laughs> That is so funny. Okay, so, 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 so. I am allowed to get that one wrong because. Sorry. I should not have gotten it wrong because that and Emotional Roller Coaster and the Superwoman are the only songs that I still sing now, like in my, in my show. Okay. On the first album. So I sing it all the time. So I definitely should not have gotten it wrong just because I'm always, I sing it, you know, at, at my concerts. I don't know why. It slipped my mind and I can hear myself singing it. I just couldn't place it. But mm -hmm. the reason why I think I should be off the hook and give it another chance yep. <laughs> I'm listening. Trivia is because Eric Roberson wrote that lyric. I, I did okay. not write that lyric. So I think it's easier for me to, you know, Good think morning, I can write stay with me in my mind because I wrote it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He wrote the verses to what is love. Okay. So, I would say that it's okay if I don't remember right away. No shit. <laughs> you get half a point in that one, you know, it took a little minute. <laughs> shit, I want another try. <laughs> Thank you. That was good. That was fun. That was so different. Was, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Thank you. Well, I thank you for taking time out. We're huge fans of Urban Bridges. So again, I can't wait for tonight to hear the album. And again, continued success. Thank you so much for having me. And this was so much fun. And happy anniversary again. Thank you. Appreciate it.